Halloween flower. No, it's not really. <laughs> Colours go with Happy Halloween if you if you celebrate it. Um, and it's Halloween as I film this Tuesday evening. Um, I don't need a mask, as you're fully aware, to scare anybody off because I can do that with this beauty. <laughs> anyway, how are you doing? I hope you've had a great week so far, and welcome to the midweek Wednesday shave. Um, I'm using a razor, like I said on Sunday, which, um, oh, by the way, before I carry on, you may hear the doorbell in the distance because uh, some of the children come in, <laughs> come in around trick or treating, and I think we've run out. Um, I think, anyway, I don't know. Right, razor, as I said on Sunday, that I'm using is one I've not used for a long, long time, um, and it's this one. You're thinking, what's that? Well, it's a Boots the Chemist razor. What used to be, they've stopped making them now, but you can still buy these because it's the exact same razor as a Gillette Seven O'clock, and that's what it is. Um, they were sold as Boots razors with their own name on and these are seven o'clocks, Gillette seven o'clocks and the same thing. It's a three piece, non-adjustable, inexpensive razor. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to use a Bolzano Superinox blade, brand new. Bolzano Superinox. <clears throat> or Superinox Bolzano, it says on the blade. But on the box it says Bolzano Supernox. So it doesn't matter which way you say it. <laughs> right, that's the head, that's the plate, the base plate, and then just turn in. There's a metal thread, plastic handle. Good exposure of um, blade exposure here on the edges. Have to be very careful there. If you can see, maybe, maybe not. So have to be very careful there. Aggressive, mm, it's a bit more, uh, we can see the gap there, hopefully. It's a bit more aggressive than a Wilkinson sort of classic, say, but uh, we'll see. I'm using, this is the Big Shave uh, Steve Farragher's uh, Scuttle, and inside, if I just, in there is a puck of Arco soap, which I always leave in there, that's been uh, blooming for about 10-15 minutes. As the brush has been soaking, the Omega ball brush, standard brush, very inexpensive. Um, the dearest thing out of all this really is this. So, uh, just bear with me. Oh, and you might be able to tell. <laughs> it's full of hot water. So I'm gonna start, you can see. As you can see, lathering up. It doesn't take long, but you need to mix this to get a good creamy lather. Uh, but as I say, it doesn't take that long in this sort of uh, scuttle because you've got the ridges and there is a whole, well, uh, right, there's part of a puck in there because I've used it a few times, but um, really nice. There we go. Really like Arco. So I hope you're having some good shaves, in good health, and all that sort of stuff. Very important. And uh, by the time you're watching this, it's um, there we go. Peaked. Uh, have you been with your children? Have you got children? Trick or treating. Um, <laughs> As I say, they look fantastic, some of the children. Now the bloom, the bloom water's in this water, so I'm going to not waste it. Ah, it's beautiful. So we'll see how it, um, how it works on here. And there we go. To the midweek shave. Now the more you mix this, lather it, the thicker and creamier it gets. Hopefully, as you can see. Mm. 
absolutely amazing soap. Let's get started. There we go. There we go. So non-adjustable. Here we go with the boots razor or also the Gillette seven o'clock. Depends what you've got. So yeah. So as I say, it's more aggressive than. I forgot how good this is. Um, more aggressive than the standard Wilkinson sword, and more aggressive than the Gillette's um, the Slim Twist. Um, it's more along the lines of the adjustables, like the Slim adjustable on the higher end settings. Or mid to higher end settings. It's uh, not an aggressive razor, but it's more aggressive than the others. I'm just trying to sort of compare it for you. I don't think you'll hear Alice in this video because um, she's at the moment next door here in the spare bedroom. She's scared of the children. Um, and she's not used to the doorbell going so much. Nice blade, this. It works well in this. Brand new blade. Standard soap. Good for getting under the nose. That's all you need on a first pass. Absolutely superb. Right, on to pass number two. Okay, so I'm just gathering up more from the scuttle there. And we'll go back. Now is when this soap gets slicker and slicker as you do each pass. Because um, if you can see there, look. It's not a very, very what you'd call a bland scent, a standard soap scent, very basic, but it's a good soap, works well. I like the sm the scent, cement. I like this, I was going to say it's a smell and scent. Um, but you can do all sorts with it. Some people mix this puck, when you create a lather, they add Arco shaving cream to it, a blob and mixing really makes a difference. You can add scents to it. Derby soap is much the same as this, um, except for the scent. It does have a nice scent, Derby, I find myself. Um, but so far, pass number two now, across the growth, with the boots, the chemist razor, or as I say, the Gillette 7 o'clock, exactly the same thing. And it may be other names as well. So here we go. Very, very light razor, head end heavy. And I can feel them. Um, there we go, don't know if you can see this little red dot there. So I've caught my nose with that. I'm not sure when I did that, actually. So didn't just feel a bit of a, yeah. So that's why I always mention overhang.
Yeah, you have to watch this razor's bite because it's uh, a bit more than it looks. But as I say, it's not aggressive, but it packs a bit more punch than the, say, the Wilkinson Sword Classic or the Gillette Slim Twist. Um, it resembles more the Gillette Adjustables and stuff like that. But not as aggressive as a Wilk um, Edwin Jagger D89. Double chin. Well, in a minute, let's do this first. Yeah, normally we've got um, uh, things left over for Halloween. Um, after all the children have been round and with their parents and things. But uh, Mrs. H said about 10 came together and when she offered the um, the goods, shall we say, <laughs> 20 hands come in and more or less cleared it out. So, there we go. Trick or treat. So that's it. So that's pass number two across the growth. And I'll see you in the third pass against the growth. Right, welcome to the third pass against the growth. Just have a look at that so far. Not bad. Inexpensive razor, inexpensive brush, inexpensive soap. Um, so not bad. You don't need the posh, expensive, they're lovely to have and to own and to use, but you don't need, you don't need designer labels, shall we say, the big bucks to have a good shave. Never forget that. Um, but the good stuff is always a bonus. It's, it's like a treat, isn't it? Um, what's uh, Halloween? Well, um, it's a time when all the uh, ghosts and the ghouls come out. <laughs> it's a scare in the witches. But um, enough about me. Let's get on with <laughs> third and final shape. Right. Mm. This gets better and better as you use it. And again, this brush, inexpensive. The more you use it, the better it gets. Lot of ball brushes and badger brushes are like that, I find. But synthetics are good brushes. Don't need maintenance. As in um, care, in a way, you know, you can look after it, just rinse it, leave it dry, it doesn't matter if it's wet. You don't have to soak it, um, so that's a good brush, a synthetic's a good brush to own if you uh, haven't got the time, or you're a bit lazy in that department or whatever, but, um, and I mean that in the nicest possible way. And it will shut up now and go against the growth. Thank you very much. Good lather that. You can see. As I say, it's a light razor, but still use light touch. Good slickness on this arco once you get going. It's uh, sometimes it'll look a bit watery, airy, but uh, just you might think, oh, it's going to take ages. Just keep going. Doesn't take long. It'll come. It'll peak. And once it, I find personally, once it's peaked on the brush, once you do that, and it's peaked, and you can see it's like a cream and not airy. It's ready then, and it does get better with each application. I find. This is where you've got to be careful of that overhang. As 
has anybody um well i hope that chin bit in the last video helped people um i don't know if anybody uh, that needed the help got anything from it i hope you did but uh it's always there Right, what we'll do is this moustache area and we'll uh, put some water on the chin because there's enough slickness in the soap to go. Good audio feedback. Make a good travel razor. Or if you're just one of these, I just want a razor and shave. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Perfect. Does the job. Good end of the nose. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Right. Wet the chin. Well, on the moustache area. I feel how slick that is. What's this? Here it cuts in that chin where you think you've done it. Nice and light. Until you get that quiet sound. Let's try this. I don't know overdo this. Like I always do. But where's the fun in not overdoing it? You wanna feel you had a shave? You should be red raw! <laughs> I'm only joking. Right, it's uh, pickup time. That's a scary face. I know. Welcome to pickup time. Mm. <laughs> You're right. You do cut yourself more with a mild razor because I'm. It's in, in your mind, I think, you think, oh, it's a mild razor, well, oh, it's inexpensive, not going to hurt me, this. Blah, 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 blah. And it does. It's a blade. It shouts at you. It says, oi, concentrate. And don't overdo it. Doesn't it? Oh, that was an interesting thing. Someone said they called this star bit on your here, uh, or the swirl, uh, a cow's lick. Um, well, when I was younger, my mother and people like that used to call, if you had a like a hair, bit of hair here, called that a cow's lick as well. That's because I've got one here if I grew my hair. Well, I did have when I was younger. Be interesting, actually, to know if it's still in. Right, wet. This is this is the bit I like. That's that star bit, you see. It's 
superb rinse off. Keeping the face wet. I've made the mistake of drying it and then realizing I'm using the not using Thayer's or anything like that, which hazel I'm using the uh, Allen block today. So wet that and straight to a wet face. You might feel some feedback, you might not. I'm getting a bit of a tingle here. And that's because uh, I did nick a bit there. Oh, you can hear people at the door. So that's lovely. And then we'll uh, rinse that off. Like a salty taste on the lips. Now one thing you'll find with using alum, uh, it takes away all moisture, slickness, poof, gone. God, that feels good. <laughs> yeah. Right, that was that. Mm, not bad. And I'm going to use this for a change. It's an Arco shave, this. Arco Aqua. Oh, that smells nice. Because I can't remember. I have used it, but not for so long. I can't remember the, um, the scent. Now, I, oh, that is nice. That's nice. Smell that, smell that, smell that. It doesn't resemble anything. So I can't describe it, but it's a nice... It is a fresh um, aquatonic scent. There you go. Very strong alcohol in these, but the scent, I wish it lasted. Oh, that's a lovely scent. Right, two applications then Arco Aqua, and then we're going to use the Arco Classic to put a. And again, this shows that you don't spend big you don't have to spend big money on razors blades brushes soaps anything you don't even need the scuttle if you want to go that way um, or if your pocket you know we've all got different sort of budgets um, or amounts we're willing to spend Um, but hopefully, I enjoy using minimal, uh, inexpensive products as much as I enjoy using expensive products. And I think it's good to use both and appreciate both what they are. And don't expect things from products where you're not going to get. Because uh, that does lead to disappointment really before you start. If that makes sense. But I love using inexpensive stuff and I love using the expensive stuff, but I do see the expensive stuff as a treat, as a, you know, that's good cream that. Ah, cool. It's a good winter cream that, really good protection, as you can see. Right. Not bad. Might just uh, if I can open the septic pencil, wet it and just dab that. And that'll stop it. Bit under the nose. So let that dry. Okay. So we'll go over what we've used. So we've used the Boots, the Chemist razor, um, the exact same razor as the Gillette 7 o'clock uh, and maybe a few others, but uh, it's a good little razor, basic razor, plastic handle, metal head, head heavy, three piece non-adjustable. 
there is a good overhang to be aware of on each side. Um, it's more aggressive than a Wilkinson Sword Classic or the Gillette Slim Twist. Um, but I would compare it to the Gillette Slim Adjustable, the adjustable razors, any of them. Um, Gillette's, say from four, setting four, five, something like that for this. Um, it's a good, you can feel the blade, good bite. That's a good blade that, the uh, Bolzano Supranox. Uh, felt very smooth, comfortable, cut right through, no messing. Um, comfortable shave. Of, as I say, when you look at this, you think, well, it's not going to be. But there is a gap there, and you do notice a bit more aggression. So that's an inexpensive and sort of um, not aggressive, but uh, slightly more aggressive than the uh, Wilkinson sword and stuff like that. So that's a good, good razor. Well, you can see, you can no mess in there. These little dots and things are where, that's where my star is, if you like, there. So, because I shave in all directions, sometimes it goes. It's not sore. It used to be once. God, I'd be in agony now, here. But not now, because I very, very light touch. And now I'm going on, I'm sorry. Um, we use the Arco soap, which comes in that form, but I've pressed it down. Uh, no, sorry, I didn't press it into this. I think I ground it with a great cheese grater hand one, which is dedicated for soap now. And I grated it in because I wouldn't press in a scuttle if it got uh, like this, if it got uh, two skins, which you know you can put water in because uh, you can break the inner bowl, it can crack and go. You've got to be careful. Um, so that's what I did there. Omega ball brush. Um, we used all the alum, alum block, rinsed off, and then we used the Arco Aqua Cologne, beautiful scent that. Very nice. I can still smell it, which is strange. It normally fades very quickly. Um, then to put the moisture back, we used the Arco Classic, and I'm very happy with that. Midweek shave, very happy indeed. So if you celebrate Halloween, I hope you had a fantastic Halloween. Um, I hope not too many ghosts and witches and things came and frightened you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hope you've had some good uh, scary shaves. I've had a few in my time. And I hope you have a good week, rest of the week, and uh, up to the weekend when I'll see you for the Sunday shave. So take care of yourselves, and thanks again for all your support. Um, yeah, and I'll see you on Sunday.